In this tutorial, use a particle system to break away a layer of rust on a line of text to expose what's underneath it. A basic scene is provided with simple components, a ground plane, a spotlight, and a line of text meant as an ad for an imaginary rust-proof product. The word was created using the text tool the way you have learned in previous tutorials. A bevel modifier was added to give depth, and a UVW map modifier was applied. The purpose of the UVW map modifier, of course, is to provide proper mapping coordinates for the applied material. The material itself is a standard material based on a couple of bitmaps to give the illusion of clean metal. The resulting render shows the metal-like word that's meant as a final result. The animation has been set to 400 frames. Initially, and at the beginning of the animation, the object is meant to be rusty. Rename the existing text object text clean. Make a copy of it. and name the copy text rusty. The new object is now selected. Right click in the viewport and isolate it. If you wish, change its wire color to differentiate it from its sibling. Use the slate material editor to apply the provided rust material to the new object. This is a simple standard material based on a bitmap and its diffuse and bump channels. Enable Show Map in Viewport to see the effect. It needs a bit of adjusting. Set the mapping coordinates length width height values to 600. It now looks better. Exit Isolate mode when done. At this time, the two lines of text share the same space. You have to design a way to transition from one to the other. With the rusty text still selected, right click and hide it temporarily. Select the clean line of text and add a slice modifier to it. Expand the slice modifier and select the slice plane subobject. Using angle snap, Rotate the slicing plane counterclockwise exactly 90 degrees. Use the Remove Top option and notice how the right side disappears. Move the slice plane in X and notice the effect. Move it all the way to the left until the word Rust Proof disappears. Next, you need to animate it going from left to right over time, say between frames 60 and 300. Enable Auto Key Mode and go to frame 300. Move the slice plane to the right until the whole word appears again. This creates two keyframes at 0 and 300. To ensure the effect only starts at frame 60, relocate the 0 keyframe to frame 60. Exit Subobject Mode and Auto Key Mode when done. Play back the animation to see the effect. Next, you need the reverse effect on the rusty line of text. Right click to unhide the line of text you hid earlier. Drag the Slice modifier from the currently selected text object to the rusty one. This creates a copy of the modifier and therefore the two text objects are currently behaving the same way. To reverse the effect, simply change the modifier values to remove the bottom part of the rusty text. To help with real-time display, you may want to disable show map in viewport on the rust material. In the next movie, you create the particle system you will use to tear away pieces of rust to expose the clean finish.